what's up guys it's your boy the wolf all right so what's going on with this this is about the um, yeah we'll do that we'll do that one all right so this is about a current list of Hague countries this is very 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 important all right so before I get there first of all thank you for tuning into this channel if this is your first time here don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe and understand that down below boop 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 not not on me you perverts down below on your phone if you go scroll down you will see that I finally have a merch shop so you can get the bad wolf info and logos um, even me and my cute put them on a club cub or mug any of them things down below don't be doing nefarious things with my image or my likeness alright um, so anyway let's go on so thank you for subscribing and thank you to those people out there who have subscribed to the paid private uh, subscription area for all the details and there's more files coming up so don't worry about that and videos all right um what i find interesting is that when we've been talking about this quantum syntaxing it's almost like the government has been slowly implementing aspects of it so it almost makes me wonder if that russell j gould and david Wynn miller are onto something i don't know yet i'm not putting full credence into it yet but i'm, I'm watching because here when i googled um department of state travel and then list of Hague countries, all of a sudden they've got quantum syntaxing in here. Or they're start, starting to, aspects of it. Okay? So I just thought that was interesting. I'm just going to use that, you know, in lightly, lightly. All right, so why is this important? The reason why this is important is because even myself, since the time I created my channel and started giving you guys this information, certain things like... Um, well, uh, 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 the term U.S. national is no longer used by the Department of State. They typically go now by non-citizen national, okay, um, so, or American national. So what we're, we use now, we're going to be using state citizen, American national, or constitutional citizen, okay, because we're a citizen under the Constitution of the United States of America or a, na uh, a national of the United States of America, one of those terms. But remember, when talking with various heads of state, make sure you are, you are properly identifying yourself to what they know. And as we all know by now, cops use foreign national, Department of State, non-citizen national, um, and so forth. So, I digress. Let's get going. All right. So, the reason why this is important, because like I said, changes do happen. Before, we were using Canada or Venezuela, I think, um, or even Taiwan as a non-Hague country. So, the Department of State is where you should be going to find out which countries are Hague. They will always have a current and updated list. Okay? Some people have been coming to me with outdated lists. Some of the information when they see finally see my videos are outdated. Okay? I'm not going to go back to the video and find that exact word. And now, instead of using... I recommend using Ke Africa. And anytime you're going to use one, I recommend using as a non-Hague country... Egypt all right which now my play, favorite place is Egypt but um, so when you go and you Google travel state GOV Department of State list of hey countries you're gonna come up to this page where it's going to have a new list and as you can see here Canada is now Hague or it's been Hague for a little while all right so we don't want to use Hague I happen to know Egypt is not on here so Egypt is my new favorite place to go Egypt is a new one guys Blink, blink, blink. All right. And what do we use that for? Typically authentications. All right. So what else were we using? Um, Venezuela. Since we started, Venezuela is now on the Hague list. Okay. Um, what else were we using? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway. Um, so whatever country you want to use. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. One just popped into mind. Yep, Ecuador is on the Hague list, okay? Republic. Uh... Alright, so I recommend you pick a country, Egypt. And when you pick that country, you're going to then want to cross reference it with the Department of State's list of current and active Hague, because they have to have it. They have to know it. So instead of going to somebody's off-brand website um, or outdated or maybe they don't even know or got wrong information from another wrong site, because people copy a lot of wrong stuff from site to site. 
I will say that I, I it's happened a handful of times. Even with me, I've had some bad information. I had to go back or was outdated and redo it. That's just how it is. Sometimes people slip BS past your gates and then, you know, you're looking like boo-boo the foo. So you got to change and update. That's why my channel is always changing. I always tell people to, to always try to get the most updated current videos by going to either BlackSite32 or else uh, BlackSite32.com or else um, uh, uh, going to my YouTube main page channel and looking up the most active or current videos for updates because updates happen. All right. So that being the case, guys, that's what you do. Find a country that you want to use Egypt. And then what you want to do is um, cross-reference it with the Department of State's website. And if you don't see it on this list, then it ain't. Okay? As we all know, Hague is federal, not Hague is in the free world. So, because um, we do know that uh, the Department the Department of State, they themselves, even though on the application it says you can use affidavits of identification, whatever else, the new one, they've kind of been hiding that and kind of trying to shade that. And even today, I had a client where they basically ignored his affidavit of identification, which they're not supposed to do, Department of State. You know that. You know that, okay? Because in order to get that notarized under Jurat, they have to show you your ID, which means it's usually going to either be what, state or federal or whatever else. And that person's vouching, especially if you have somebody on their witness, one or two witnesses, always get at least two witnesses if you can, and that. But that particular agent who is violating this person's, person's uh, rights under the Constitution, so, it's ha so that happens. All right. So in order to prevent that, Make sure you have everything done properly. All right. Um, so they so we had a little pushback there, but that's probably and hopefully a more so isolated case. But anyway, have your ID and your in, your information prepared and ready. Um, have the state that you want to use. Then cross reference it with the Department of State to make sure that it is it is not on there. Because if it's on there, then it's federal and it's Hague, all right? And we want non-Hague for the birth certificate authentication process because we know what that does, do we not? If you don't know that, then you're new here, and I'm sorry, but um, no juice and cookies for you. Go back to the uh, YouTube website for James C. Lovett. Also subscribe to the Bad Wolf Media channel and begin your lesson there because this is lessons for people who are on Chapter 13, not in chapter two. Okay, but I'm glad you came. That's what she said. So that being said, um, make sure you have all the information. Stay woke, stay woke, stay wise, stay aware, stay healthy, stay warm. Talk to you guys later. And uh, thank you for subscribing and still sending in donations. All right, those have been really low lately, guys. I'm just saying. Um, but still yet, nonetheless, even one or two dollars is appreciated. And if you want to donate every month, join the Wolf Pack. Um, the paid monthly subscription service by hitting the join button on your YouTube uh, main page for James you love it and I think the cheapest one is like two dollars or three dollars a month I mean you guys lose that in, in pocket change when you wash your clothes um, that gives you access to all the private videos which are not for the public domain and it also is just a monthly uh, donation okay and I mean what is it twelve three two dollars times twelve is twenty four bucks for the year I mean, it's not bad, guys. You know, help help a, help a brother out. You guys are watching my videos for free. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, that being said, don't forget to check out the free download files on Black Site 32. There's also lots of good um, uh, services, products, and discounts you guys can take advantage of there. And if you want nice merch, uh, scroll down below after the video and. Search out some nice, cool gifts and hoodies and all that kind of stuff. We're all down below. T-shirts. Got stuff for the kids, too. All right? Talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day. And don't forget to share this video. And if you see anybody using my stuff inappropriately, report their punk butts. Take care. Talk to you guys later. Travel safe.